What's up, guys? So today we're going to talk about something that Elon Musk leaked, apparently, but it's not a leak. I feel like it's like really just analytics and stats. Um, but like, it's so funny how everyone is thinking otherwise. So watch this. An underpopulation problem. Really? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I'm sure you know a lot of people who have like no kids. Like how many kids do you guys have? I don't know. I got no kids. I mean, that no, we know none of. None of you guys have any, uh, What the fuck? <laughs> I'm 28, but I mean, I'm but, like, uh, They are hoping to move away from that uh, in the future with uh, uh, engines from Blue Origin, but those engines are not yet ready for flight. Um, there is also the Antares vehicle, which is, uh, uses the RD-181, I believe. Um, they will not be able to fly as a result. With all your knowledge uh, and products, services, you are almost... This is also like a very great case study of Elon Musk's characteristics, because you can see him in every weird situation that he actually like freezes. He can't comprehend what to say. And this is just so funny because he's just saying something that he's probably supposed to say. A strategic weapon in modern warfare. How do you see your role in it? If you know Albert Pike, you know exactly what I'm talking about. Context to Ukraine shows that there are opportunities that you needed. Well, I certainly hope that um, SpaceX and Tesla do not, uh, are not forced to develop any kind of weapons technology. Uh, obviously, we would only do such a thing if like this guy is not really useful for earth you know what i mean like he wants to run away from earth and um a lot of these like electric cars are actually bad for the earth and they're burning people like 30 people died just from burning teslas i know like i even my cousins love tesla and like elon musk i think so but like it's just weird so let's watch I mean it more in the metaphorical sense. Not He's not a practical person. That you produce weapons, but that you are, that your knowledge can be used in order to make a difference in conventional warfare or in the warfare of the future, which is AI. Elon Musk. And it's so funny because he's not practical and everybody kind of like understood that and they actually picked him, uh, picked on him and he got mad. And now he's criticizing every other department in the United States. So, like, this is the real. Musk, the famous entrepreneur and visionary behind firms such as Tesla and SpaceX, recently spoke out on an issue that many people neglect or dismiss. Fertility. Why? Why do you so say that? So this is the most commonly misunderstood situation. Yeah, they definitely push that we have a... Like, this is probably the smartest thing he ever said. Mm -hmm. Yeah, why is that? No, no, we, I don't know. It's just like, I think it's like, this is a holdover from like, I don't know, the 70s or something, you know? So there was a huge baby boom, like where people did have a ton of kids after World War II. But then the U.S. has actually been, had, the birth rate in the U.S. has been below replacement rate since like 71 or 72. In well, the U.S., like 50 years. About, 50 years, the U.S. has been below, below replacement rate. I know U.S., but how about other countries? Musk uh, called attention to the United States falling birth rate and underlined the need of addressing the problem. His worries originate from the probable effect of the country's dropping birth rate on the future workforce, economy, and general well-being. Welcome back. Time for the morning's hot topic buzz. Elon Musk looking to save the world. He tweeted this. If the World Food Program can describe on this Twitter thread exactly how $6 billion will solve world hunger, I will sell Tesla stock right now and do it. Musk See, this is exactly what I'm talking about. So he's like, yeah, you guys know that I have all this money and doing nothing with it, like trying to plan to go to Mars. And I am now building this tesla thing that is burning people alive so like okay if you have any other better ideas i'm willing to give my money right so now he gets to criticize pinpoint other people <laughs> so easy to decode because waiting on the un to lay out a plan <laughs> liz what do you think 
Uh, you know, Maria, I think it's really refreshing to see somebody like Elon Musk stand up to the international community uh, and just say, hey, show me the money. Where is it gone? We've spent hundreds of billions of dollars around the world. Uh, and what do we have to show for it? There's so much corruption in all the agencies that purport to be helping people. Do you see what he's doing? Everything corruption, everything bad. You, you, you. Maria, think about Haiti. A For decades, the birth rate in the United States has been dropping. Um, well, like China's got a huge population collapse problem. Really? Yeah. China, China, you actually get penalized. This is real, though. If you have one, I actually Googled it. More than one oh, kid. No, you are you being it? serious? No, 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 I like they that, cut like, that off. No, the see, this is like, so part of it is just like, we're, we're operating on things that were true in the past, but are no longer true. So China did have a one-child policy, but like about 10 years ago, they changed it to a two-child policy. And then a few years ago, they changed it to a three-child policy. Mm. And birth rate kept plummeting the whole time. Total fertility rate, which is the number of children a woman is anticipated to have in her lifetime, reached a new low in 2020, going below the replacement level of two. One birth per woman, according to the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention, I'm but 20. I, I'm I guess 20 I could. 20 is reasonable. Yeah, yeah that's fair. I've no, been I'm, thinking of I'm it. I'm trying to get a baby mama soon. but uh, Yeah. And I just got married last month. She's over there. Okay. Hey, congrats. <laughs> um, I feel like that's kind of changing, though. I think, like, with generations, our generation is having, like, less marriages, less kids. Well, child support, man. A lot of guys are scared right now. <laughs> it's true. Well, that's it's true. Thing, but yeah. I mean, it's true, man. <laughs> I have no idea what they're talking about. We'll Google it after. I would be scared, too. I mean... Jeez. That is that it probably is a big thing. No, it's a big probably part of it. Yeah, too, but, well, like, like cost, part of it, cost, part of it too. Is probably cost a big of a thing. child. Yeah, give me a break. I'm not, social media too. Yeah. People get caught up on social media instead of going out and you know having fun. And how detrimental is that? Like, what's what's that? If if we if it keeps trending this way, well, we've been how like long do we have eventually. before it's like, yeah, I guess, distinct. Well, it, it, it's it's a, it's a like a low birth rate is is a slow death for a civilization. It's not a fast day. Yeah, we're chilling for a bit. Yeah. I mean, so you're then, cru cruising. But it's just like the, the average age just starts drifting up. And then, you know, basically civilization will die with a whimper in adult diapers. Changing societal standards, late marriage. This was the weirdest thing he ever said. <laughs> Holy, no, maybe not. But adults with diapers, last civilization. Just think about this. No one is getting married. Like, today i just met a girl that she's just like yeah i want to be happy in life i don't want kids kids are trouble you know like personally i think this is like a whole different experience that i want to feel because i know every dad in my life that like i've seen they enjoyed having their first like moments with the kid apparently something happens in neuroscience dr jay lombard he says that in his book the mind of god and it's really like a man actually transfers to a father. Like it's two different things. Improved availability to contraception. But like women just want to be happy, you know? Like apparently they're not craving that mother uh, archetype, right? And economic constraints are all contributing causes to this reduction. Um, I, I, I think I can be helpful in uh, conflict. Um. Yeah, now he's like, yeah, I can do, I can fix this if you guys want. Yeah. Uh, I mean, I try to take the set of actions that are most likely to improve the probability that the future will be good. Um, and so, obviously, sometimes I make mistakes in this regard. Oh, he's so monotone. Like, I can't even stay focused on what he's saying. Always get it right, but I aspire to get it right. And so, whatever, uh, you know, I think is most likely to uh, ensure that the future is good for, you know, all of humanity, that that's, that's the action. He's like, what are the words? Humanity. World. That I will take. Um, yeah. A couple of months ago, we had an exchange about uh, Ernst Jünger's famous. Oh yeah, book. great book. 
Storm of Steel. Yep. You were very fascinated by that book, which has been published roughly 100 years ago yeah. about Jünger's experiences in the First World War. Why is, why is that book so important for you? Well, I, I read a lot of books. <laughs> Bro, this was... <laughs> that's based... You know, like, I always say that. But, like, to girls, when I'm flirting, I read a lot of books, you know. I'm nerdy. I'm not. But, like, you know... <laughs> yo, he's going Andrew Tate mode. It's not actually Andrew Tate, but... <sighs> um, and, I, and I don't know, for some reason, I'm, like, fascinated by uh, war and, and history in general. I thought Jung's book was, uh, you know, an excellent first-hand account of uh, World War One. And Elon Musk underlines the implications of decreased birth rates for the future workforce and economy. A declining workforce may come from a shrinking population, resulting in a scarcity of trained personnel, fewer innovation, and slower economic development. That's facts. Well, that's the lowest birth rate ever last year. Well, really. Yeah, China's birth rate right now is forty percent below replacement. Well, traditional women. I don't want to, like, you know. <laughs> I, I, you know, one can speculate as to the reasons, but I can there, tell there's you that no hoes. I mean, like, <laughs> Andrew Tate was last week, bro. I know it's true, bro. Like what you said about birth, I, they're out there. <laughs> see that? Wow, that is a very common <laughs> misconception. I would have it's never. It's a very common right. misconception. Like, yeah. what, what we face uh, is co population collapse. Huh? Collapse. Like people have no idea how fast the population is going to collapse. Yo, yo, we need kids. Um, what are we trying to Japan is pretty far along in that. Like Japan actually lost like 600, that went down by 600,000 people last year. The Japanese are not in the bedroom at all then. <laughs> it would not seem, at all. It would, well, no one laughed. I feel like his best friend laughed. It would seem not. What about, um, what about the US? We got to increase. Who laughed? Right. Yeah, what I'm saying is the, the U.S. has been below replacement rate for 50 years. The That's only reason so the nuts. population has increased like is yearly since, you're since the 70s. Yeah, since the early 70s, since like 71, 72. Um, so why are we spewed with all this BS that, yo, we're overpopulating, but the population's growing, right? As fewer well, young people join the workforce, social security, health care, and retirement systems may face significant pressure. <laughs> kind of sucks, as not it? It's like anticlimactic, yeah. you know, it's not exactly, I mean, frankly, Aren't I what? Kind of sucks, doesn't it? It's like anticlimactic. Yeah. Anticlimactic. You know, it's not exactly. I mean, frankly, if you say, given the choice, like that was weird. I'd rather civilization died with it, went out with a bang, than a whimper in adult diapers. You know? Yeah. What's a bang? Uh, bang would be World War Three. <laughs> <laughs> you know, if, it, nice. if the choices are. You know, like it's just like sad, or the, the, it's just sad if you just if you just die, and you know, if civilization no. dies of old age. I think um. that word that we just saw, anticlimactic, is when causing disappointment at the end of an exciting or impressive series of events. So yeah, it's like a bummer. So that's like the the most. That's probably the biggest myth that exists right now is this overpopulation myth when in fact we have a population collapse problem um and i think people can see this anecdotally when they talk to friends and just like we just said like none of you guys have kids yet yeah, it's totally understandable 20 but i mean 28 it, yeah 28 maybe you know um how, how old are you 42 40, 42 you should he's not had, contributing uh, by 42 you should have no. kids you know yeah, what the fuck? Yeah, no, I'm, I'm the problem. I know. That's You're what I got problem. out of this. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, you know, that's... Uh, I don't know. I, I have a lot of friends of mine, especially, you know, like, a, you know, know a lot of women that, that have not had kids and, like, not planning to type of thing. And I'm like, man. Musk. I just today I met a girl like that, you know, like, they don't want kids. They don't want trouble. They want to live their life free like without the feminine responsibilities you know like yeah it's bad it's so bad because i know that every man i know is fighting to death for the the father position to get that money to go and become a father i know that everybody is like idealizing that like even like our biggest red pill people they always promote that. 
you know what I mean? Like to f get a family, right? Understands the connection between population expansion, innovation, and entrepreneurship. A greater population means a wider pool of talent and more chances for cooperation, which leads to more creativity and technical advancement. No. Exactly. Oh, no, it's not. Um, so, I mean, the, the, I should say the, the, the like lifespan is increasing. Mm -hmm. um, people are living longer. But that's the only reason why the population of Earth isn't plummeting, but it will plummet. So he just said the opposite of what he was saying, though. Um, you know, just like one thing to metric to track is the ratio of adult diapers to baby. Like if you're saying people are living longer and like not making the population. So is population growing or is it not growing? Baby diapers. Mm -hmm. Like at what point does a country have more adult diapers and baby diapers? And like Japan went past that point over 10 years ago. Whoa. What do you think happens in like the future then? What's your kind of thought on that? Well, I think people really, we've got to turn this around. We've got to have at least replacement rate, if not more, on the baby front. Um, and by the way, these this is these are not matters that are uh, subjective. You can just literally look at the birth yeah, rate. Yeah. You know, it's like, it's an objective number. Like yeah. how many kids, babies were born. It's like, a, they record this information, you know, so. Declining um, birth rates may stifle the introduction of new ideas, reducing the potential for game-changing discoveries that drive economic advancement. Yeah. So I'm worried about the... I think that's the biggest risk to civilization right now. It's just we, we, we got to get rid of this nonsense that we have an overpopulation issue. We have an underpopulation issue. Why do you think that that's not being said more then, if that's a huge problem? Different agenda, I mean. I think it yeah, has some kind of... You, you know, I think like maybe the sort of uh, like I'm pro environment, but I think the environmentalist agenda yeah, has sure. kind of gone too yeah. far. On it's all agenda. Sure. Yeah. That's an environmentalist. Yeah. More it, well, it's kind of like the, yeah. Yeah. yo, so is this another movement like feminism, environmentalists that preach that earth population is growing. So you don't have baby. And now the reality is that the population is declining and people are dying in wars. Israel, Palestine. Yeah, you how know. How so? I mean, it, how so? Like a lot of these things, it's like I'm not necessarily. I, I don't think it's like some sort of like, like sort of nefarious mastermind situation. It's just a like a, a dumb idea that ha hasn't been fixed, you know, as opposed to like somebody's masterminding it or something, you know. Um, yeah. <laughs> you forgot. But I'm just saying, objectively, one way or another, if we don't have kids, is like population is going to decline. We're going to average age is going to increase. Um, when did you have your first child? Um, when I was 29. 29. Okay. Well, how many kids? Uh, nine, right? <laughs> yeah. Nine children. Wow. How many baby That's mothers? Awesome. Three. Wow. Lower fertility rates may have significant social effects in addition to. Where this guy made a whole school for his kids and like his employee kids, you know, like in his house. Economic ones. A diminishing workforce may cause changes in labor force dynamics, such as greater job competition and decreased diversity. A country of 11 million people that has received $13 billion in aid over the last decade, and yet it is as poor and famished as ever. I can't. And then, like, the first thing he asks when he enters the class, imagine all the students are sitting there, and he goes, have anyone heard about this before? <laughs> and everybody looks at him like, nobody says anything. People need super funny to be a little more realistic and you know vote with their heads instead of just their hearts if he can find some way to spend money to help world hunger great but stop all these platitudes about just billionaires paying their fair share and thinking that money is the only issue it is not yeah you're absolutely right michael it's actually not it's practical knowledge nobody knows what they're doing you know <laughs> like i actually seen people with my own eyes like they're not professionals professionals are rare or they're just like not famous you know so how do you see it 
Yeah, look, I, I think Liz hit the nail on the head here, and I really think this is why people like people love Elon Musk. He, he says it right to all these left, uh, all these leftists, and all their platitudes. Furthermore, <laughs> an aging population may place a pressure on healthcare systems and social welfare programs, thereby affecting older persons' quality of life. I mean, it's certainly. I think uh, a lesson taken from that book is we don't ever want to do that again. <laughs> that's that's, that's sure. interesting. That just, yeah, that's good. That, that's good idea. So funny. You're saying that because there's a big controversy around that book. And like I'm dying, bro. Some people are saying this is uh, uh, glorifying war. Yeah, it's definitely and, not. And other people are saying <laughs> it is a warning uh, for uh, not having a war ever again. So you're clearly in the second camp. Well, I think like. The, those who are, don't like Jung's book are basically, you know, just because it's not 100% uh, anti-war in the most extreme way, then that, then it's, therefore, it's bad. No, it's like a report. It's just neither. Yeah, he's just saying positive this is what happened nor today. negative. It's just describing what happened it's, it's, in a terrible way. Yes, I mean nobody's reading nobody's reading that book and say I want to be that do that I want to do that. That sounds. Elon Musk has offered many remedies to the United States' falling birth rate. First and foremost, he pushes for policies that promote and support family development. Affordable daycare, paid parental leave, and flexible work schedules help individuals to balance their professional and personal life. Look, sh sh show me, show me the money, a uh, little Jerry Maguire on him. And so, you know, I I if what they were saying is actually true about these billionaires, as Liz would say, paying their fair share could solve all these problems. Show us exactly how that would happen. And of course, we've seen nothing. So I think you have your answer right there. Well, you also have the top 10 percent of earners paying the lion's share of taxes already. So when he says pay your fair share, I think he's talking about a handful of people like a Jeff Bezos who's, who's been able to get around it using legal ways, different tools. But for the most part, people... Oh, wow. Did he actually... People are paying their fair share, 10% paying 70% of the income tax today. Furthermore, Musk believes in creating an atmosphere that encourages innovation and entrepreneurship. I mean, it makes it very clear. It's just a very terrible situation. I agree to that one. We built VFitter University for that exact reason. Not many people know what knowledge and wisdom is. They all like think that it's the same. While knowledge is like wind, if it's not used, if it's not practiced. Um, but but he, but he also said like it's it's not like it's. It's not like there's no good that comes out of even a terrible situation. There's some good that comes out of it, but it's overwhelmingly bad. It's just, it's just really it's interesting to, to uh, read about history. Uh, I mean, learn the lessons of history such that we do not uh, repeat the mistakes of the past. Um, well, we know that saying history doesn't repeat, but it rhymes, and we see a rhyme yeah. these days. Back to the bigger strategic uh, picture. I mean, the, the, the terrible actions of Putin are to a certain degree also a result. Society can empower the next generation to lead and effect good change by investing in education and providing chances for young people to develop their abilities. Uh, we're exactly. Why young people? Because the future is all user interface, right? So Gen Z is actually like very capable of leading the future. And we just have to realize that and trust them, right? So it's like, it's always like whoever is older is more trustworthy. This has to change. Like this really has to change. I see younger people, like my youngest cousin, he's like six years old. And like, he says some smart stuff, bro. Like he has YouTube, right? He's every second of his day. He's like an iPad kid in YouTube searching different stuff. And he's like intelligent. So he searches stuff that is like fun to learn. He asks good questions about like God. Think about this. He challenged my uh, perspective, but like now he can't because I, fix those right coming up on an election i mean it's a ways away but it's going to all start all i'm saying is that like gen z is really smart and we're actually like going this way when it's like our kids are definitely smarter smarter than us right
Yeah. If President Trump is allowed back on the platform, he hasn't actually come back. Right. But one would imagine if and when he does, or there are others who will say, 2020 election was rigged. Is that something, I assume that's not something you believe. I, well, I think the, the, the answer, the, the answer is, is, is nuanced. It, it, like, do, do I believe Biden won? Yes, I believe he won. And you voted for him. I did, actually. In, do you regret that? I mean, <sighs> man. Furthermore, Musk underlined. Man, that's not an answer. Don't be politically correct. The significance of technical advancements, such as developments in reproductive health and fertility therapies. Uh, of uh, strate strategic mistakes that Europe, particularly Germany, has made the dropout of nuclear energy. Actually, can I just say, I think it's very important that Germany not shut down its nuclear power stations. I think this was extremely crazy. Uh, uh, I just wanted to ask a question on that, because if we, if we really want to reduce Putin's power and Europeans and Germany's dependence on Russian energy, this works only through decarbonization. So my question yes. to you is, should we have even more nuclear energy in order to get faster independent from Putin and to yes. resolve yes. climate issues? This guy's like, yeah, yeah, I want, I want yes. more nuclear sure. energy. Opinion, Germany should not only not shut down the nuclear power plants, it should reopen the ones that shut down. And those will Okay, fair. So we don't have that many population and we're having the third world war and this guy still wants to use more nuclear. I guess that's that's the way. Those are the fastest ones to restart. Uh, um, it's crazy to shut down. Like, you trust Muslims? <laughs> I don't. Uh, now, especially... Like I don't even trust Christians. Like, even though I'm Christian, I feel like people who are Freemasons are better than Christians because they can't defend Christianity better. They can even defend Muslim, uh, like Islam better because, yeah. If you're in, in a place where there's not natural disasters, you know, so like if you're maybe somewhere where there's severe earthquakes or tsunamis or something like that, it's more, uh, uh, you know, of a question mark. As to, you know, I mean, maybe, you know, but if, if there's not like massive natural disaster risk, which Germany does not have, then there's really no danger with nuclear power plants. And you don't see any uh, safer alternatives that could have a similar effect. So solar and wind is not going to. I don't think so. Any other ideas in mind about future en energy policy? He wants that fictional, ideal thing that is it's like in his mind, going to Mars, doing all everything electric and nuclear, and like that's his future Earth. While like there are so many ways that we can go to not hurt people and do that, right? It's abundance. Like we can make Earth livable. We don't have to go to Mars. We just have to solve our problems, build better buildings that can resist earthquakes. So it's like improve the world f first, right? So it's like we are part of the space and you're caring about Mars. We're Earth. That whole space thing, like SpaceX thing, is not practical to me, like not at all. Policy. People with fertility issues may have greater options to form or extend their families. If access to these technologies is improved and related expenses are reduced. I, I wish we could have just a normal human being as president. That's what I want. I think yeah, like he's normal. <laughs> this is so funny. Please put a normal president like me. I'm so normal here. If, 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 if we could, you know, there's that, that old saying of like, we're better, we're better off being run by, uh, by people picked at random from the phone book than the faculty of Harvard. Yeah. I don't know who said that, but it was someone very wise. And, and I, 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 would, I would say if we could do that for the president, that, that would you be think great. You that would be I beneficial? Just, so you're not, obviously you're not happy with Biden. Don't we all just want a normal human being to be whatever the president? Whatever that means, whatever, you know, I'm not even uh, sure uh, anymore what normal means. No, but I mean like, you know, just, I don't know, just so. You want somebody who's competent. That's you think, helpful. Yes, I, I think definitely somebody's executive ability is underrated since the president is effectively the chief executive officer of the country. It, it actually matters if they are a good e executive officer. Yeah. It's, it's not simply a matter of do they share your beliefs and, the, you know. He's right about that, though. But but are they good at, at getting things done? There's a lot of decisions that need to be made every day. Many of them are unrelated to moral beliefs. You know? Right. No. What? 
What? Many of them are unrelated to moral beliefs. Uh Every single decision I make in my day is tied to moral beliefs. Why are you making the two separated? So weird. You know? Right. And uh, Elon Musk's and worry over the United States falling birth rate draws attention to a subject that demands critical investigation. It is critical to comprehend the possible consequences for the labor, the economy, and society. That's why everyone has to read morals and dogmas. Like, it's all morals, if you think about it. Nothing rather than that is like more practical, right? It's the first practical thing that as a human you can learn. Morals. Society as a whole. And you just want a good executive. Because <laughs> they're, they're, they're CEO of America. They but, are. They so are. We want a good CEO of America we, I, who's going to do, be an effective. Unfortunately, uh, so, so. we live in highly partisan times <laughs> where there. He's like, come take me. Come take me for the president. This war about everything, yeah. including ideas, including the truth, which gets back to. It's not true that the election in 2020 was rigged. It wasn't stolen. And I wonder on the platform, I, when you see yes. that, does that end up in a community note or is that something you take more action on? And obviously that applies yes. to so many. I mean, to be clear, I, 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 I don't think it, 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 was, it was a stolen election. Yo, why can't he talk? No, but by the same token, if, if somebody... I'm not even hating. Like, I'm truly just, like, curious. How can you be a good CEO and, like, show it off to the world? And yet can't even talk properly. I was going to say that they're like monotone. There's, there was never any election fraud anywhere. This is obviously also false. Yeah. If, if, you, if, you, if 100 million people vote, the probability that the fraud is zero is zero. The issue There's may no be way. solved in a better future for the United States achieved by enacting policies that encourage family formation, promote innovation and entrepreneurship, and advance reproductive technology. There's going oh, to be, no, of course, there's always going to be some, a but little. is it going to, right. Your reproductive technology? What's happening here? I mean, uh, the tiniest bit, perhaps. I mean, there were, this. Those are organs. Selection was audited. It was so many judges. Sure. I mean, it went on and on and on, and there was no, nothing. But, oh, I feel like, I feel like they mean it differently. Yeah. Whatsoever that. I don't um, want to debate this with you. My question is more about... I think it's important to say, like, th th that in any given election, even if you try your hardest, if you've got 100 million votes, there's going to be some, some amount of fraud that is not zero. And, th and that, th that, it's important to acknowledge that without saying that, that the fraud was of su sufficient magnitude to change the outcome. Mm -hmm. So, so my opinion would be that there was some, there was some small amount of fraud, but it was not enough to change the. Outcome. Right, and by the way, it might have been either way. I mean, I, you know. Yeah, yeah. this is probably a little bit. Of but again, way. it's going to be. You're going to let people say that though on the on Twitter, and then you're going to hope that they're corrected. And they will be emails. corrected. They will be. Oh yeah, hundred um, <laughs> percent. Okay, that was it. This was fun. Like, at least this person had something very intelligent to say, which was. The terrifying news of our population declining. No girl is getting married. And this is scary, guys. Like, it's very scary. They're, they're choosing the independence feminism part, mostly. And they, they just want to get old by themselves. And you know what's even more scary? They're, they're having pets as a replacement. And sometimes they even care about that pet more than themselves. They put it over because they want to feel like they're caring, they're nurturing. So, like, just see how this whole thing is a scam if if you don't pay attention to it. But you might say, yeah, that's their like that's their life. But you don't contribute to the society like that, you know. Like, I don't see anyone who just wants to have pets. I mean, if they're not capable, okay. But if you are capable of raising good kids and like you're not doing it, you're having kids or like you're not even going into a relationship or marriage, that's a waste of life. Why would you do that? You know, come back to Jesus.